Hey guys, so welcome to my reveal for our basement hydroponics room. So as you can see, we've got a few different systems here. All the supplies that I need to work down here are right here inside of my enclosure that I built. So starting here in the back, uh, I can show you we've got a couple of tomato plants, uh, bell pepper plants, and jalapeno plants. Now I brought these in from my garden back in October. And I really wish that I wouldn't have because uh, underneath the leaves were quite a bit of uh, aphid eggs that I did not even realize were there. And when it got warm in here, they hatched and they literally just took over everything. Um, so I don't know if you can tell on those little white speckles, those are de either dead aphids or eggs that aphids hatched out of. Now, I've been using insecticidal soap and neem oil to kill them uh, organically, and I think that I'm winning. Um, because I don't see as much activity. The plants are alive. Um, they're just not doing great because a lot of the leaves have been damaged by the bug infestation. So um, I think in April or May, uh, probably May, when it gets warmer outside, I will transplant all of my existing plants outside and just sterilize this room and start all over. Uh, so over here, this is my kind of like experimental tray. Um, I've got a couple of green bean plants here that are seem to be growing pretty well. I had broccoli in here, but it all died. Um, so I've started again with some more green beans. Each of these little trays uh, has a bean seed in it. So hopefully we'll be able to start actually producing some decent quantity of green beans out of here soon. And then I have my starter tray here for my lettuce. Um, so this system over here actually is normally a lot more full. I just harvested quite a bit of it or actually transplanted it upstairs. Now, if you've seen some of our other previous videos, you guys will notice that I have a system that looks similar to this in the windowsill of our kitchen. Uh, so basically we will start the lettuce down here, get it to a certain size, and then transplant it upstairs into the kitchen windowsill. And then we will take it from there right to our salad plate. So whenever we want to have a salad, we just kind of reach in, peel off some lettuce or sometimes take an entire plant make a salad and then continually we're always having new fresh young plants going upstairs uh, system works pretty well as a matter of fact tonight I'm actually going to transplant some of these into here uh, over here is my fill station where I have a five gallon bucket and a hose and all of my different things I need to uh, mix up the hydroponic nutrient solution uh, we have the master blend Epsom salt and some uh, calcium nitrate So basically put a about a two spoons of each of those two teaspoons of that into a five gallon bucket and that's what I start with and then I will use my testers to uh, see you know the proper values for each of the different things I'm growing and I will adjust uh, as needed um, so you can see I've got all my supplies here my little foam blocks my little uh, I guess they call them like little net pots the different seeds we use uh, I've got my pH up and down for adjusting the um, acidity levels and it's actually a little green bean starter tray there. Got my neem oils, as I mentioned. Some random tools for working down here. Uh, so for the light sources, I have a 3000 watt Viper Spectra uh, full spectrum. It's like the red and blue tinted light. And then I have more of like a white light. It is still full spectrum though. Um, can tell you the manufacturer on this one. I think this one's about um, maybe 600 watts got off Amazon and this one does really really well with the lettuce uh, this color spectrum seems to be doing better with the fruiting plants so yeah guys this is my current revision of the hydroponics room oh so the walls are actually just uh, insulation panel from Home Depot um, they have this really cool reflective coating on there and it just helps the light just bounce back oh, there's a little aphid uh, hitching it right on my hand right now just felt it tickling <laughs> Uh, so that's one of the downsides of coming down here. Um, you get creepy crawlies all over the place, so it doesn't really bother me, but some of the people in the house don't really care for it. Uh, anyways, guys, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to continue to uh, show you guys videos as I change things and as things grow. And uh, if I have success or failures, I will let you guys know. Thanks for hanging out. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video. I hope it was informational and educational, and I hope that it inspires you guys to go on and do something similar on your own, whether it be a do-it-yourself project or repair something around the house or just otherwise in creative inspiration. So if you guys enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate you to smash that like and subscribe button. I'm a new channel. I'm just starting off. I don't get anything really for doing these videos other than the joy of trying to help others. So if you guys appreciate it, I would appreciate you giving a like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thanks.